Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to Market Sense. I'm Kamya Varma. Well, the markets are clearly trending lower as we step into the loan session. Uh, we have a technical view coming in uh, in Mandar uh, Jamsan Dekar who joins uh, at this point. Uh, Mandar, how do you look at the market's uh, nervousness? Uh, do you think that uh, there's more weakness in store uh, for the remainder of the session? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, actually, uh, the thing is, Nifty today opened with a gap down opening at around 7910. Uh, in the uh, first uh, 30 minutes, we saw a sell off which was led basically due to the Asian markets uh, and the comments that we had in the uh, from the Federal Reserve. And after that, we are seeing consolidation happening. Right now, Nifty is trading above a major level of 7875. Uh, in the on the intraday charts, I uh, see a support at around seven eight seven five and seven eight uh, seven uh, seven eight uh, double eight five and seven eight seven five. So that's a, a major support band for the Nifty. Uh, I don't think that the Nifty would break this uh, level today. I think we could uh, have a, a retracement and the Nifty could again move up to uh, test the opening of today. So somewhere around 7910 is quite possible in the second half session of the day. We will uh, head into a break. But before we do that, I just want to get in a quick chart check on specialty restaurants. Uh, Mandar is still with us. Uh, Mandar, at 119, what's the call? Uh, specialty restaurant short term is weak, long term is range bound. Uh, right now the weakness is clearly there. Uh, 114 is a support on the short term chart, but weakness is there. Long term charts tell me that the range is between 220 and on the lower side it is uh, 101. Uh, nothing as of now appealing on the technical charts. I won't be a buyer in this stock. Reliance Infra, a good 3% of an uptick coming in there. Reliance Actually, Power Kamil, also. Let's address that. I mean, because just because those flashes are coming in and they seem important, the subsidiary Reliance Defense applies for additional 16 licenses. Uh, new licenses will cover entire spectrum of land and naval systems. Uh, uh, new licenses for manufacturing of heavy weapons, ammunition, missiles. Uh, the licenses will also cover manufacturing small arms, electronic warfare, radars, armed vehicles, unmanned systems. Uh, new facilities are, of course, likely to come up in Gujarat and Maharashtra. Earlier, of course, Reliance Defense uh, got the DIPP approval for 12 licenses to manufacture aircraft, helicopters, etc. Given the government's focus on developing uh, and, you know, technologically advancing the defense systems as of now, I think this comes as a big short in the arm, which is why you're seeing uh, Reliance Infra particularly uh, reflect that. That's right. In fact, let's get in uh, Mandar's view then on some of these names. Reliance Infra on the charts, Mandar. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, uh, Reliance Infra uh, was trading in a downtrend from Jan this year to October. Uh, in the month of November, it uh, gave us a breakout above this downtrend uh, uh, above this downtrend line, and which suggested that a change of uh, trend is going to happen in this stock. Positives going to happen in the future. Uh, I believe in the short term, the momentum should continue, and the stock should head for a target of 520. Uh, in the intraday trade today also the stock in the first one hour ha had uh, traded with a good uh, momentum then it went into a range bound trade with a resistance at around 460 and a support at around 456 but I believe in the uh, later uh, session uh, the stock could uh, continue to move up and therefore I think this could be a buy with a stop loss of 454 uh, for a target of 468. Okay, 454. In fact, the stock is already at 459 as we speak. 3% is what this one's gained. So good going for Reliance Infra at this point of time and maybe some more room left on the upside. And uh, Mandar, come to you on the charts. Uh, Tata Alexi, thanks, Ashwin, for that. Uh, yeah, Tata Alexi, uh, today in the intraday trade, it's moving uh, with uh, nice momentum, nice volumes. Uh, we have seen a move uh, from 1940 to uh, 2047. Uh, but I believe uh, it will face resistance here, it will consolidate uh, on the short term charts, it has got a resistance at around 2052 and on monthly charts, the stock has already uh, in the last two years, it's already appreciated from 200 to 2200 levels and therefore I believe this is a bit stretched and some more consolidation is expected in, in this particular stock. It will continue to trade between 1700 and 2100. Uh, the upsides are quite possible, but 
for now it will continue continue to trade between this band we need to watch a resistance of 205 Eight. Uh, if two zero five eight is broken, then short term moves till twenty two hundred and twenty three hundred cannot be denied. But on the long term, we would not see major upsides from here. Consolidation is first. Uh, another three months maybe, and after that we could see new upsides coming. Mandar, can you also recommend your stock specific ideas to our viewers? Uh, yeah, one stock that I have is uh, Arcom Reliance Communication. Arcom uh, in the intraday trade today is trading very nice volumes, uh, and it has also managed to break a resistance of 83. 83 was a major level. Uh, this was acting as a resistance for the last one year, and uh, in the intraday trade today, it has managed to break this level of 83 with nice volumes. And therefore, I think this is a stock which one needs to watch. uh this uh, pattern also says that this positive something positive happening in this particular stock so till the time trades above 83 the view, uh, bullish view is going to remain intact and therefore i think one can buy with a stop loss of 81 for a target of 87 and if it sustains above 83 then we could also have levels of uh, 109 and 115 in the short term uh, mandar we let you go at that thanks very much for helping our viewers with your stock strategies